we're, we're gonna have an incredible Cybertruck product for you next year. We have, we have more orders to fill the Cybertruck than we could possibly fulfill for three years after the start of production. Everyone is probably still curious about how the preparation for the Cybertruck production is going. A source said that Tesla's most anticipated electric pickup, Cybertruck, is completing the preparations necessary to be ready for official production in 2023. Musk has also revealed that Tesla has successfully ordered the machines to produce the Cybertruck. So, where did these machines come from and when will they arrive at Giga Texas? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, we'd appreciate it very much if you would show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started on today's content. There's a new report out of Germany stating that a new system for the production of Cybertruck drives had been ordered from German manufacturers. Interestingly enough, these manufacturers are reportedly familiar with Tesla's vehicles and facilities as they have also supplied components and machinery to Giga Berlin and Giga Shanghai. The machinery is reportedly capable of producing nearly 800,000 drives per year, which aligns somewhat with Elon Musk's previous estimates for the Cybertruck. The CEO of Tesla had mentioned that Tesla may initially produce around 5,000 Cybertrucks per week, then aims to increase this number to approximately 10,000 per week. The needed machines for the Cybertruck are reportedly now being built and are expected to be deployed in Gigafactory Texas around early July of 2023. Assuming that Tesla would start the Cybertruck's production with the vehicle's tri-motor variant, the output of the upcoming machines would just be right. However, Musk has mentioned that Tesla is also looking to roll out a quad-motor variant of the Cybertruck, which would require more drive units than the vehicle's tri-motor version. Apart from these reports, previous posts from Italian die-casting machine manufacturer IDRA about its new 9,000-ton Gigapress, which is arguably one of the largest casting machines in the market, have also hinted at the Cybertruck's upcoming production. IDRA released a photo of the 9,000-ton Gigapress, showing off the machine's impressive scale with an employee standing in front of it. If the employee is about 6 feet tall, we estimate the machine is close to 25 feet tall. This massive machine is currently being assembled at their facility in Travagliato, Italy. While IDRA Group has been quite hesitant to reveal the customer that ordered its new flagship press, Tesla's CEO has confirmed on Twitter that the 9,000-ton Gigapress would be used for the Cybertruck's body. The Cybertruck's body is built with an exterior shell made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. According to an anonymous source, the 9,000-ton Gigapress is expected to arrive at the Giga Texas factory as early as the end of the first quarter of 2023. However, an 8,000-ton Giga casting machine is required to put together the rear underbody of the Tesla Cybertruck. The large underbody parts need to be die-cast in a single piece to accelerate and simplify production. Previously, Tesla also ordered three huge casting machines, or Gigapresses, from IDRA. IDRA Group General Manager Ricardo Ferrario also revealed that the Italian Gigapress maker has received the first orders for a new 8,000-ton Gigapress from a world-leading electric automaker. Although he did not name Tesla, it is definitely none other than Tesla. On top of that, Stefan Motz, the General Director of Pass Automotive Mexico, has stated that his company would manufacture auto parts for Tesla's EVs, including Cybertruck. Stefan also noted that Pass Automotive's production of Tesla parts is expected to begin later this year, specifically in November of 2022. This facility, which would be producing Tesla components, is located at the Apollo Industrial Park in Irapuato, Mexico. Pass Automotive's Apollo Park facility is expected to see an expansion of about 4,000 square meters, or 43,000 square feet, to accommodate the machines that will be needed for its upcoming EV parts production operations. About 100 more people will also be hired. Also, as per several sources, the parts that will be produced at Pass Automotive's Apollo Park facility will be exported to the United States, specifically Austin, Texas. This suggests that the parts which will be produced by Pass Automotive will be used for the Cybertruck and Model Ys. Stefan Motz, for his part, has stated that Pass Automotive is now setting the stage for its EV parts production. We are also honored to be able to produce some small parts for Tesla's electric pickup, Cybertruck. He added, We are preparing the expansion to carry it out this and next year. 
It is an investment of several million dollars in machines, production lines, equipment, and industrial buildings. Ultimately, Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, said after a recent sighting of the upcoming Cybertruck that he believes it will be the company's best product ever. The Cybertruck was spotted at the Moss Landing Battery Systems commissioning event in California earlier in June, sporting its 30X Colt Rolled Stainless Steel Exoskeleton and its somewhat intimidating wiper blade, which has been in development for some time along with other portions of the vehicle which have been modified since the vehicle's unveiling in late 2019. The images and videos released showed the Cybertruck at the event, and new interior images indicated slight modifications to the cabin design. Along with a new dashboard design and instrument cluster, the accelerator and brake pedals were also newly designed, and it appeared to be running a version of the new Model X software. However, amongst the most noticeable alterations to the futuristic EV is a new windshield wiper which replaces the truck's previously unusually huge wiper arm which was on display at Tesla's Cyber Rodeo event in Austin, Texas back in April. A part of the reason is that previously Musk was not too happy about wipers and replied to the photos on Twitter. The wiper is what troubles me most, no easy solution. Deployable wiper that stows in front truck would be ideal but complex. Despite the new modifications to the Cybertruck, Tesla's CEO Musk still continues to vocalize his excitement for the pickup. In the past, Musk has spoken highly of all of his company's products, especially the Model S Plaid. However, his expectations for the Cybertruck continue to be lofty as he recently affirmed in another tweet that it looks like the future. The big question though is whether or not Tesla will actually meet the deadline to start Cybertruck production in the summer of 2023. Interest in this polarizing truck is definitely still there, with order holders still having faith that they will eventually get their vehicle. Even though Tesla stopped accepting Cybertruck orders from outside the US and it also removed the pricing and version information from the official site a few months back. Overall, all machines and equipment for the production of Cybertruck are carefully selected and examined by Tesla before being put into the Giga Texas factory. After all, this is Elon Musk's baby. And with that, today's episode has come to an end. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel, Tesla Car World. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell us what you thought about today's content. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.